about three weeks ago I made a video about why does Sony's Marvel Universe exist? Why does it exist? Does anybody know? I don't know. Still don't know. Each film. Sometimes I wonder about Venom. Is it as good as people think it is? Because I've watched it a few times and I think it's a very, very fast moving movie. And it's over before it starts. I don't think you really get a chance to learn anything. Um, but give it its due and let's say it made some money at the box office and people did seem to find it an all right film. Uh, second one was appalling. Morbius, appalling. And then you've got Craven coming up. Um, but I also mentioned this Madam Webb's movie which from the trailer i just thought looked horrendous didn't understand why they're making it i don't understand what the sony universe is as i said in the video it feels like it is it's like a human walking around with a heart this universe simply can't exist without spider-man in it so what are they doing i don't understand it if they're trying to build towards something what are they trying to build towards? Because none of them are connected in any fashion. They're just simply throwing spaghetti against... They're just trying to throw spaghetti against a wall and hope it sticks. Hope it's cooked right. Because it's just... They're just horrendous movies. They really are. And this craving coming up isn't going to make any money either. Though it has got a good actor in the lead role. Um, and once again, Kurt... Is it, uh, Oh, Russell Crowe plays the father of a superhero. Something he likes doing for some weird reason. Uh, so we will see about Craven. But for now, I was just reading here. Madam Webb's box office flop has cancelled plans for a new superhero franchise at Sony. We're not going to see another Madam Webb movie. For another decade plus. Well thank God. We don't we leave it 20 years. We don't want to see don't want to see one ever. 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 There will be mild spoilers for Madam Webb in the Yeah, yeah, whatever. The film has only grossed twenty six million pounds in its first six days. You know what did better than that? Argyle <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what they were thinking. I, I can't understand what they were thinking. S Madam Webb scored one of the lowest super superhero box office debuts in recent memory, which has essentially cancelled a possible franchise at the studio. They wasn't planning on a franchise. I don't know. Do you know what I think they would think they were doing? I think... It's something to do with rights. I think all these these random bullshit movies that they're throwing out has got something to do with rights. It's got to be like the old um, what was it? Fox. They, they made that horrible film, Fantastic Four. They made that Fantastic Four, and it was all in an effort just to keep the rights to the Fantastic Four because it that was an abomination too. There's so many awful superhero movies coming out. They forgot what makes a good superhero movie. They really have. You see, the Marvel Universe is... When it started, the original Marvel Universe... Like Iron Man. Let's start with Iron Man. Iron Man got it right because of one thing. When you are a superhero, the whole point... is saving individual... Human beings. Do you know what I mean? Like when Iron Man turns up in, I think it was Afghanistan, and he saves them people who were in trouble because then uh, terrorists have come in and you know, trying to kill them and whatnot. That makes a hero, that makes a superhero. People get a feeling from that, they like it. Superman, for instance, when he saves a cat out of a tree, it's a simple little tiny moment in a movie. But he makes you feel like he's, that's what a superhero does. He does individual little acts. 
Now, I understand that the Marvel Universe was building up to something massive. I understood that. Um, but most Marvel films aren't about, let's say, it was Age of Ultron. They saved the people with the Big Island thing. They did a bit on there. I actually like that film. I still never understood why people didn't like it. Um, but they were get, they were working up to something bigger, so you could understand that they wasn't aiming on saving the individual Captain America. When he went into save the prisoners of war, simple like such little things. When he jumps on the floor and jumps on the grenade, little things like that. The missing, the missing from these new Marvel movies. They've turned them into the, these people that are instant heroes. They're just instant for no fucking reason. There's no. There's just nothing about them, and it's really annoying. So then they've thrown this thing together, this Madam Web. Sony have thrown this Madam Web together. Um, because I don't know why they're not using a spy. There's three Spider-Men they could use. Sony could make a Spider-Man movie. Sony could make two Spider-Man movies. Marvel could use Tom and make a Spider-Man movie. They could, uh, Sony could make three Spider-Man movies all at the same time. Release them on the same day, and each one of them would make seven hundred million. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. Why can the only me personally, when it comes to Tom Holland, he's all right. He's all right, but he's part of the biggest Marvel Universe Spider-Man. He's not an actual neighborhood Spider-Man. They tried it in the first one a little bit, but it wasn't. Didn't quite hit me, you know what I mean? I preferred it. I liked him in um, Civil War, the cheekiness. But he lost his cheekiness. He turned into a little whiner. And I wasn't into the whining. It wasn't me head in. I thought um, Andrew Garfield was a better neighbourhood Spider-Man. But again, when he was Peter Parker, the mouthiness stopped and he turned into a bit of a whiner. And... Uh, for some reason, they do it to all the Spider-Men. They turn them into whiners. <laughs> wine, wine, wine. You're just throwing fucking cars at someone. Um, but they could do that. And I still like Spider-Man movies. I mean, Spider-Man 2 is still probably the best Spider-Man movie. And that took a lot. Sam, I think it was Sam Raimi won it. Even he said he took a lot from the original Superman movie for that. And if you noticed, he even does the. But we'll leave that there because, you know, uh, people get angry at that. But it was. He, used to, he took a lot of inspiration from Superman movie. Um, but so this Madam Web thing, I don't know what they're trying to do with it. What they were trying to do with it. Will I watch it? I had no intention of watching it, as I said in the video I made two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I had no intention. This this universe, this thing. Oh, she's quite hot in that picture there. Jesus Christ. Um, but the the uh, they had, I, I don't know where the, they were meant to be going with it. There's nothing there for me. There's just nothing there. There's not even worth. 13% on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, Rotten Tomatoes means shh. Well, anyway, to be honest, if Rotten Tomatoes says it's 13%, I would usually want to go and watch it because Rotten Tomatoes is a bag of bullshit. And if Rotten Tomatoes usually says something shit, it's usually good. But in this case, I think they might be right. I think they might have the nail on the head. From everything I've heard, from everything I've seen on what people have reviewed it, I, I'm going to agree because... I, I just know, I knew it was going to do poorly. I knew it was going to be a bag of crap. But at the end of the day, it's up to you. And if you go and watch it and you enjoy it, fair play to you. But the only movie I'm really excited about next uh, to see is uh, Godzilla Kong. That's the next one I'm buzzing about. I love them Godzilla movies. 
I just think the two hours of absolute nonsense. Anyway, tell me what you thought. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of this Sony universe. Think it's worth. Is this Craven going to be any good? Doubt it. But we will see. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you again.